Shops at Mark's Garage, city officials updated downtown business merchants on what the city is doing to address some of their concerns, like homelessness in the area. Some people think I'm cruel, moving homeless from sidewalk to sidewalk. I believe that if we stop tomorrow and just say, oh, we're not going to do it for six months, we will have a major health issue in the city and including in Chinatown. Caldwell told a handful of business owners the city has been moving the homeless off the sidewalks for health and safety reasons, but more needs to be done. We need a solution to how do we find shelters. So we're not just moving from sidewalk to sidewalk, which does impact you guys. I sat down with Chief Kealoha today. I said, what if we put a police substation in the safe zone with a trailer or something like that? so we make sure that bad things don't happen. He said, what makes you think the homeless will go into a safe zone where the police are enforcing laws for drug use, alcohol, and other kinds of abuse? They're not gonna go. They're not in the shelters with rules because they don't want the rules. So I'm, I'm looking. Getting people off the street is just one part of it. We need to have specific programs and services so that we can house individuals in locations that are safe and kind of remove them from the sidewalks, make your businesses safe to visit you know, and to really uh, expand and grow. That we also have places that are going to provide services, whether they're mental health services, whether they're substance abuse services, or whether they're training and other kinds of programs to help those who are homeless get back on their feet and get into housing. Councilwoman Carol Fukunaga, whose district includes Chinatown, talked about the lack of public bathrooms in the area. We would be looking to work with the administration, with various agencies, on possible public-private partnerships, uh, whether we can you know, partner with groups that may have their own buildings who are willing to work with the city and county to provide locations for safe restrooms for public use. We have been contacted by vendors who have standalone um, portable units. Caldwell says the lack of bathrooms in Chinatown is not a new problem. Back when I was managing director, we had Don Horner as the head of First Wine Bank. Don Horner actually was willing to provide a part of the property that they own, First Wine Bank, owned put bathrooms in a fairly large set of bathrooms. But the holdup was this, and some of you may remember, was how do we make sure those bathrooms are safe for the patrons that use it so that they don't have suffer any kind of abu abuse or violence and that there isn't drug dealing going on. And while First Wine Bank said they could provide a facility, the issue was how do we staff it for all the hours that it's open, and as you know, it needs to be open at night not just during the day. And we couldn't resolve it because of those costs. Who is going to pay once you made the commitment, we built the infrastructure, who is going to pay to maintain it? When I left, I don't know what happened, but it didn't go forward. Now I'm back, it remains an issue. And I'm open, and I'm sure we can find a site. In the end, the mayor reassured business owners that the city would continue to work with the private sector to help make Chinatown a viable place to do business. You have a partnership here. You in the private sector, with us in the public sector at the City County of Honolulu. And I'm going to make sure that that partnership continues. Because, well, some people like to talk stink about Chinatown. Say there's homelessness, there's prostitution, there's drug dealing. I talk about this place is vibrant. This place is active. This place thrives with business, commercial, retail, art galleries, like nowhere else on this island. It's the closest thing I think you can get to a New York feeling going down the Chelsea area of Soho. And that's great. And we're going to keep making it better and better. You're going to keep making it better and better. And so I get really excited about the possibility.